Hi guys, my name is Bappi Ahmed and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, in this video, I'll show you how we can perform auto image segmentation with the help of uh, Meta SAM2 model as well as the YOLO V11. So I think you remember in my YouTube channel, I already created uh, one playlist called YOLO 11. Inside that, uh, I already covered like how we can perform uh, instance segmentation on top of our custom data. Let's say you want to train an instance segmentation model. So how to prepare the data and how to train the model, everything I already clarified. Now let's say you don't want to perform this manual image segmentation. Uh, let's say you don't want to annotate your data or let's say you don't want to train any kinds of model. In that case, actually what you can perform, you can perform uh, auto image segmentation task. And for this, you can use this amazing uh, actually model from the Meta AI called SAM2. SAM2 is nothing but it's a segment analytic model. That means with the help of this model, you can create a mask okay you can create a mask you can see this is a mask actually so they have also given lots of demo so automatically you can create this particular mask and this masking means this is called actually segmentation you are segmenting something segmenting some object from an image okay so we'll be learning how we can perform this um, auto segmentation okay with the help of this sam2 model and this is the latest uh, like version of the sam sam model and we'll be also using uh, one detection model called yolo 11 so here what i'm going to perform guys let me show you uh, one high level diagram see uh, i think i have already covered how to perform the object detection with the help of yellow 11 let's say if i want to detect any kinds of object so i think you know let's say this is my object let's say there is a person so this is my object and if i want to perform the object detection i will be creating this bounding box and it will have one label called person okay so this is called actually object detection now if i want to perform the auto image segmentation then what i will be doing so after uh, performing this object detection okay object detection okay we'll pass this result okay we'll pass this result to the sam model okay sam2 model so what this sam2 model will do it will take this part actually because i want to only return this detection only okay not the entire image i want to only give the detection detection part of the image so this image will go to the sam model and sam model will try to mask so let's say this is the image i got let's say this is the person okay let's say this is the person so now sam model what it will try to do it will try to segment that means it will try to perform the segmentation it will create the mask okay on the person okay i think you know sam model doesn't know the label okay so that's why we first of all need to do the detection and that detection will be passing to the sam model and sam model will try to create the mask on top of that object okay so that's how we can use the sam model previously i also created one video how to perform auto data annotation with the help of sam model you can also check that video in my youtube channel it is already available so they are already clarified okay how it uh, perform the let's say segmentation I th okay i think you already know that so that means after doing it what we'll get guys we'll also get the detection okay we'll also get the detection we'll also get the segmentation okay so both results actually will be getting so this is the task actually we'll be doing and for this for the object detection od will be using yolo 11 and for segment okay segment that means for creating the mask will be using sam sam2 model okay so both will be using and if i want to use them so we'll be using one amazing framework called ultra analytics okay ultra analytics so ultra analytics having all kinds of functionality okay uh, to perform these kinds of detection as well as the segmentation with the help of sam2 model all right so now let me show you the demo how it can be performed for this i have created one amazing google collab so this is the google collab notebook guys and this is the data set actually we'll be using so we'll be using our custom data here so this data set i think previously i also used whenever i was showing you the segmentation uh, okay here so segmentation so there actually i was using this brain tumor data okay so it is having actually different kinds of class let me show you if i go to the image and there is a class option is there so see these are the class are available like so here you can see uh, glioma then uh, menin gloma no tumor null okay so these are the classes actually we are having so now if i want to get the data so what i need to do guys first of all you should have one account in the roboflow.com so make sure you create one account after that it is having one amazing platform called universe so universe gives you all kinds of uh, computer vision related data if you need any kinds of data just go to the universe and simply search here so here i searched by tumor data set okay and this is the data set i got then after that what you have to do you have to download the data from the roboflow universe for this just try to click on the download data set then uh, select the format of yellow 11 because first of all i will be doing the detection okay and to perform the detection i need the format of yellow 11 okay now simply uh, click on the show code 
that means i want to download this data with the help of code i'll click on continue and copy this code and try to mention here okay try to mention here so this so this code snippet will try to download the data from the roboflow universe so but before that let me install this alternatives and all the resources would be available in the description from there you can download and make sure guys you selected your runtime as gpu okay so here i have selected t4 gpu so installation is completed now let's download the data so make sure guys you are giving your code snippet not my code snippet okay so guys as you can see my data has been downloaded and this is the data so how to perform the object detection i already showed you in my previous video here uh, custom object detection okay now with the help of el11 you can check this video so this is the data guys and it will have one data.yml file so this yml file you just need to change a little bit that means these are the location you have to change so for this uh, just try to copy the path first of all i will open the train copy the image and try to mention it here then for the validation as well then i will also do for the testing as well hmm. now save it with the help of control s now i'll remove then what i will do guys i'll just copy the data dml file path and here you just need to give the path okay so from there actually it will load the data and it will start the training and this is the training code first of all i want to train this model actually yolo 11 npt and this is nothing but your uh, uh, detection model so if i go to the detection model view so you can see i'm training this model okay so this is the data number of epoch i want to train 20 epoch only image size uh, 640 because during training they use this dimension and device is equal to zero that means i want to utilize my gpu and if you're having multiple gpu you can also give the gpu id now see if i start the training so first of all it will download the model load the data then it will uh, start the object detection uh, training actually so after doing this object detection we'll be performing this uh, segmentation with the help of sam model that means the detection we will be getting will pass to the sam model and sam model will give me the a uh, mask output okay this is the idea so guys you can see my training has started see training has started so this training will take some time i will pause the video so once training is completed i will come back so guys as you can see my training is completed now in the runs folder it has saved everything so you can see this is my weight my that is my training weight and these are the uh, evaluation matrices now let me plot some of the matrices and let me show you so let me import the image function and inside that i'm going to pass this result.png so it is having one result.png just copy the path and try to mention here and this is the complete results uh, of your model uh, that means this is the model performance so you can see guys uh, training loss is decreasing and MEP score is increasing okay MEP means mean average precision I already covered in my previous video okay what is that and all so here my model is performing better now let me show you some detection so uh, first of all give the weight location so this is my weight location try to copy so this is my weight location and here you have to pass some of the testing image so let me give the test image so in case you can also uh, give the direct folder uh, either you can also pass single image you can also give the video okay only you just need to give the location of that that's it so let's say this is one image i will upload here and copy the path of the image and try to mention here okay so now see if i execute so it will show me the detection and after executing you will only see the detection okay not the segmentation see this is the detection so this is uh actually man in uh gioma okay man gioma uh actually uh, disease okay in the brain and confidence is 0 0.99 that means 99 percent confidence your model this is this particular level okay now see this is only the detection i'm getting and now and now if i want to create the mask on top of it we'll be using the sam model okay sam2 model okay meta sam2 model now let me show you how it can be done so first of all let me show you how we can get this this location actually this bounding box location so i think you remember we stored everything inside results okay results variable now if i apply the full loop on top of results so it will have one actually uh, label called boxes okay so i only want to extract the boxes now see this is the boxes location so this is the logic we'll be applying so this is the boxes this is the coordinate point okay of that location so this uh, actually location i'll pass to the sam model sam model will try to segment okay this part only now let me show you how it can be done for this you need to import the sam from the alternatives and i'm performing the same and see i'm doing the same thing i'm loading the model i'm uh, giving the image that means the image actually i want to perform the detection as well as the segmentation 
and I'm initializing the SAM model. You can see SAM is having different kinds of variant like SAM2 base model. Okay, then uh, it is also having different different kinds of model. If you go to the SAM documentation, you'll see that I'm using the base model. Okay, then uh, inside the loop, actually, you can see uh, I'm performing this uh, SAM operation. So in this inside the SAM model, I'm passing the results. Okay, I'm passing the results, and here I'm passing the boxes. That means this location I'm passing. Okay. So it will take that location and on top of that actually it will perform the masking and this is the syntax okay this is the syntax uh, to perform this sam model on top of your detection now see if i execute the program so you'll see the results see first of all it will download the sam model after that it will do the segment operation see it has saved inside segment folder predict folder and this is the result guys see this is the amazing segmentation you got see amazingly it has segmented this part so that's how uh, any kinds of detection, okay, any kinds of detection, you can create this particular masking, okay, that means segmentation. All right, whatever object detection you are doing, if you want to also get the segmented, okay, that means mask output, you can apply this SAM2 model, okay, without annotating this data, without custom training it, you can perform it, got it? So yes, guys, this is what I just wanted to show you, uh, show you because uh, this is like very useful uh, things if you want to create any advanced computer vision project, so this will help you a lot. So yes, guys, this is all about from this video. So please try to like it. Please try to share and try to subscribe to my channel. With that, guys, thank you so much uh, for watching this video. And I'll see you next time.